It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. This should be a good one to watch. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. This is a city that's hosted more Super Bowls than almost anybody else. And, uh, oh yeah, but they've won a couple of their own along the way, too. We're in the home of the Buccaneers, Tampa, Florida, and Raymond James Stadium. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt on the call in this one. Brock, got a couple of running backs down on the field. You can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their bell cow in that groove and get them going. Find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yardage, run after run, and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, Whichever offense can get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. To kick off, here's Will Lutz. And we're off from Tampa. Bucky Irving now to return. Thurman's team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. There's just certain quarterbacks, the way they run on the field. You just say their name and just some adjectives and attributes pop up right away. For Baker Mayfield, scrappy, tough, a will to win. I'm not surprised at all to see himself back in the starting role. Not surprised at all to see him flourish. The dude is mentally tough. He's mentally strong and he typically makes the most of his opportunities. First play is to the air. Got Evans, it's complete. And he will take him down after advancing this to the 37. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Okay, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on the drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. Again for the first time to Rashad White. And he won't win the race to the outside. That run's bottled up at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Here's White again. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. Baker now off to play fake. And they get to him again. And the defense comes through. That's going to back them up and bring up fourth down. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling. Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board. Bucks ready to send it away on fourth as Jake Camarda runs on to punt it. Takes it in at the 21. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So we'll see the Broncos offense now for the first time. And we let out by the final quarterback taken in the first round of this year's draft. A lot of experience from Oregon and Auburn. It's Bo Nix. Bo Nix entered this league is a grown 61 college starts will do that for you. A ton of college experience. And Bo Nix is a facilitator. When he is at his best, that ball is in and out of his hands in an absolute hurry. If he were a point guard on a basketball team, he'd want to go up and down the court and get it out of his hands as quickly as he can. He's accurate, he's tough, he's experienced, and he's poised for this challenge of the NFL. And he finds the seam down the middle complete. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that'll be good for a Denver first. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. 
great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. On first and ten, here's Nix. Complete into Reynolds. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Now the first run of the game for Javante Williams. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. It's just going to simply be used as a setup play, whether that's another run or eventually what I love, setting up a play action pass off that counter action. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 42. No one open, so he chucks this to another county. So that play doesn't work out, but things make it even worse for them. Looks like one of their big guys out front is in need of a look from the training staff. Successful, and they have third down here. Shotgun snap to Nix. And like an empty wrapper, he just throws that one away. So many coaches love third downs and practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know how to execute and convert on these third downs. Broncos looking at a punt on fourth down, and Riley Dixon on the handle that. And it'll bounce out of bounds, and he could not have hit this much better. That's going to pin him at their own five-yard line. So the Buccaneer offense getting out there for their second drive. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Drive starts with a carry by White. And he gets a few on the punch forward. As an offense in these situations, Kate, you could feel your own goal line. And you're not going to risk putting the ball in the air. So that means you're going to run it and you're going to buy whatever breathing room you can. Second down now, seven to go. Again, this is White. And he's taken down here at the 16-yard line. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Ooh, I like that call. I really, I really like it with those sticks you can keep on the sidelines and you get more than enough to get the first down. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. The give now to White. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Mayfield now from the gun. 
and they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Give him 32 on the play, and that's good for a Buccaneer first down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. So the big play gets him just beyond midfield. It's first down. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. That's going to be caught by Evans. And this one's worked out in the 33 before being stopped. Goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. Yeah, these in cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Mayfield on first and ten. And down he goes. The Broncos got there. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and cleared. That's part of this game. You've got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home that sack. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. They run the counter with White. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. They pick up a single yard, still well behind the six for this third down. I know we all love the big home run plays, the highlight reel plays. But as an offense, these are just the stay-on-schedule kind of plays. But I love the commitment to this run game. Keep working that body. Keep working that body. Keep working that body. And eventually, you can take the wheel away from your opponent. So our first score of the game here is they cap off that drive with a touchdown. It's really what you're looking for, Kate, offensively. You want to force the other guys into thinking they need to play a little catch-up right away. So a nice job to get that first score and take early control of this game. On is Chase McLaughlin for the point after. That one right down the middle. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Marvin Mims now to return it. He stopped on the return of the 27th. The Denver offense taking the field for their second drive. Now their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. start out with a first and ten. Here's Williams to start the drive. And they needed more than one defender there. Powerful runner stopped for just one yard. They'll come to the line here. Second and nine. Nick's from the gun. And there's a man and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Whitehead. And he takes this one back for the pick six. So now it's 13-zip, Brock. And they've got to be even happier knowing that multiple phases of their game 
contributing to this lead early on. Now, I'm going to guess the defense probably not going to keep up with the offense of scoring <laughs> touchdown for touchdown, but you can't script a better start. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. after that pick six as it's sent away. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down for 26-yard line. The Broncos offense all set to go. And they didn't have much time to recover from that pick six. Need short memories here as they head back out. Sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. The Buccaneers and receiver Mike Evans headed back out. And unless the coverage adjusts to slow him down, Brock, he's going to be busy and a productive target for them throughout the rest of this contest. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. It's White on the give. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. These defensive ends today are so good, Kate, with their hands. And it's often right off the jump. If you can win with your hands, if you can create space, you can get a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Offense to the line for second down. Receiver in motion, headed right. Baker now from the gun. And over the middle, complete. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. I'll tell you this. You don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win, and a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Third down run for White. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes, but the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. 
Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. From the gun, Mayfield. The Broncos get to him here. He's brought down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. One of the big lessons you learn transitioning from college to the NFL is you can't get it all back at once, offensively or defensively. But this is the right way to go about it now defensively. You got to get a sack. You got to get something going to stem this momentum. And that might just be the sack they needed. All right, here we go. Second down. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. So a pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. And they can go ahead and stay in that huddle. We're at the end of the first quarter. It's a two-score game early. More from Raymond James Stadium coming up after the break. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Buccaneers football as we begin. They're stuck behind the sticks on third and long. To throw is Mayfield. Short pass caught by his tight end. So third and 16, no problem for them as they get the first. Just about every defensive coordinator worth his salt says two things in every production meeting. Number one, well, we got to stop the run. And number two, we got to take away the tight end. Well, good luck doing that. Defending a big guy who can move like that, it's a lot easier to talk about than to go out and execute. First down, here's Baker. Grabbed by Chris Godwin. And he's going to be brought down at the 35 yard line. Not met many receivers in my life that don't love the spotlight, but you got to earn your place there. An easy way to do it. Catches just like that, going up into double coverage and making the play anyway. Second and three now. Up the middle, here goes White. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Call it no game, maybe one at best on that play. That leaves him with third and two. the motion man here. Here he is to throw on third and two. Complete beyond the marker. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. That'll go for an 18-yard game. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Every time I see one of those angle routes, I think back to my day one install. Rookie minicamp in the NFL. Texas angle route. 49ers of the 80s, they were making hay with it then, and the running back still doing it to this day. All set up now for first and ten. Well, it looks like the defense jumps just before the snap there. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Throwing from the gun here. And he makes the catch. Did he get both feet in? No. Oh, so close to six. Incomplete. Quarterbacks, well, they're a lot like sharp shooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. You've got to shake it off and keep on. Todd Bowles did not like what he saw, and he's thrown the challenge flag. Oh, this one is really close, Brock. Did he establish possession and then get both feet down? Yeah, maintaining possession while being a ballerina, not always easy. <laughs> a lot to look at here, but I know he thinks he's got a touchdown. They gave it a 
another look after Todd Bowles' challenge, but the call's gonna stand. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Brock, hopefully some short memories on offense as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. Return coming from the six. Find some space. He's past the 30. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Broncos running their offense out once again. And things are really getting away from him. So an important moment here to try and get a sustained possession going. Got first down from the 31. Play action with Mix. And that's incomplete. Wanted to dial up the aggressiveness there like that, but couldn't connect. Second down. You know, there's not a lot of tight ends who are true weapons this far down the field. Not a lot of cover guys who can match up with them in terms of size. They tried to get it to him in a spot where he could win it. No connection to be made. Mix again on second and ten. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Oh, look at those savvy linebackers. They're just right in the middle of everything, aren't they, Kate? And it seems like at times they're the quickest reactions as well. You needed a quick one right there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. Third and long from here. Do you? Well, he should because the quarterback got away with one right there. That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. Here comes the Broncos punting unit. Trey Palmer on the return for the Buccaneers. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Buccaneers will get set to go on offense. The Buccaneer offense back out for another series. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. White trying this straight ahead. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. Throwing Baker. He puts some air under a deep throw to the left. This is cut inside the 15 into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dumps. You've got to get the explosive chunk. you got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the red zone now. And he hauls it in for the Tampa touchdown. The Buccaneers were running away so far. We've got a 27 zip game. Right on the edge of the goal line for first and goal. And I don't know about you, partner, but that surprised me that they just threw it in. No attempts at running it. Yeah, I think it is so hard for these defenders. You gotta be so keyed in and physically, you know you've got to stop that run first. So a first down pass play can and certainly was effective. 
McLaughlin attack on the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Returning it from the four. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Denver set to take the field on offense. And this drive, they need to come up with some time of answer because, uh, well, Brock, we can almost hear those engines starting to gear up. They... They might have a boat race coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think everybody in the building can feel it. This has been so momentous one way. And as a competitor, you have got to stop that slide. On the gun, a carry by Williams. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Hey, look, any run of this size is going to wound the defense. If you get this game going right at the heart of their defense, you start to break their will and break their pride. First and 10 from the 41. Now Nix. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. Not on the same page with his tight end. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Nicks off the play action. Escapes the pocket. He's going to pull this one down and run with it. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. You know, that may have been a situation when you look back on it, he watches the tape the next day. And he's got to find a way to throw the ball because his running ability, while it gets him some yards, is not enough to get the first down. Third and just two to go. Here he goes on the bootleg. Flushed out of the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense comes through to back them up ahead of fourth down. I love a good bootleg just like every other quarterback does. And bootlegs are most effective, Kate, when you're running it first and you deceive that defense. But if you're not running it, or it's a poor fake, or you got a defense that is sound, or you have the opportunity to get hit in the face in less than two seconds, just like that. Riley Dixon getting set to punt it once again. Back deep is Palmer. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it, that one. Headed for the sideline. So this one goes out of bounds inside the 20, but not by much. They're giving him the 18-yard line. The Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield ready for this next possession. And we're all hoping his hot start can continue. He has been putting up some numbers early in this contest. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Mayfield set to pass. Got Evans, it's complete. And he's going to be brought down after getting this up to the 22. Second and six coming up here. They run, it's White. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. Looks like no gain on second down, and that leads us to third and six. They'll send him over right. Third down, here's Mayfield. He's got it, room to run. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. 
This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball. Okay, hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Motion man sent left. First and ten. Here's Mayfield. Fires over the middle. Cut. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Coming left is White. And he's brought down for a loss. All I could tell him there was good luck. <laughs> you get a safety all over a run like that, they could just smell it like a shark with blood in the water. And you feel fortunate if you're even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Play fake, it's Mayfield. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And this goes across midfield and into Broncos territory. And the Broncos are in the nickel for this third down. Tight end motioning right. Throw on third down. That's caught for the first. And this one's worked out in the 33 before being stopped. He picks up 15 on the play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Ball at the 33 for first down. A run now with White. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. We're at the two-minute warning now from Raymond James. And it's the Buccaneers facing second and ten. Mayfield now from the gun. Here's one left side. He's got it. Complete pass. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Working inside the red zone. The throw is caught. And they will score. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers boat racing them to the halftime locker room. It's a Chris Godwin touchdown. Ooh, baby, Brock. This one. This one has gotten well out of hand. Uh, you think so? <laughs> I think this is utter domination. Going to be a lot of questions yeah. to be answered. I'm going to guess this is a press conference the coach isn't looking forward to. Mm. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Here's Trayvon Smith with the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. 
Denver ready for another offensive possession. They're trailing, but there's enough time, Brock, that they could get a scoring drive to attack that here before the break. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap to mix. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. So that brings up second down. You know, quarterback's going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple lap to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws will find a drop at some point, too. Again on second and 10, Nix. And that one's behind him. That's incomplete. Hey, I know nobody's perfect. All you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Up the gut they go with Williams. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. It's a gain of five, but they still need a bunch here on fourth down. is Riley Dixon. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is it far. And he'll have this fair catch right along the 25. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. Clock reads 24 seconds now as the final drive of this half begins. First and 10, it's Mayfield. This finds Evans, complete. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. We've hit halftime here in Tampa, and the Buccaneers toting a nice lead in the locker room. Now we'll keep it in the state, but send you a couple hours away to our buddy in Orlando. It's Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports halftime report. We saw a strong first half out of the former Heisman Trophy winner, Baker Mayfield. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. That's going to be taken in at the 8. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Denver offense now with the football first to begin quarter number 3. All the touchdowns have come from one side of the field, Brock. They're still looking for their first points of any kind in a game that has gotten out of hand. They're out and set. First and ten. Out of the gun. It's Nix. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Yeah, th this game, you just can't make it harder than it needs to be. Just get the catch first. Guarantee your yards. And then worry about escaping defenders after the catch. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Nicks from the gun. That one 
is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Hey, listen, drops have to be football, even from the best at every level. Nothing more to do but shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be right back your way. No connection on the last play, and out's third down. Here's Nix. Complete beyond the marker. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They strike for 23 yards. And the Broncos will have a first down. Second half starts with a run by Williams. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Slayer, two-time Super Bowl winner, says if you want to run the ball, you've got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. On second down, along with Williams. And the defense waiting for him at the line, and he goes down. Looks like no gain on second down, and that leads us to third and six. Nick's now to throw. Throwing all the way to the end zone here. Well, he's had to look, certainly didn't shot away from it, but couldn't connect. And now they're stuck facing fourth down. Not an open passing lane to be found anywhere. He took what he thought was the best one available, and they still managed to tip the ball away. They're up now, ready to punt it. And this is the fifth time he's been called upon today. And this looks like it got just inside the 20 as it flew out, and indeed it did. They're putting the ball at the 19-yard line. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, his touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. From the gun, Mayfield. On target to Godwin. And he'll get it up to the 27. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Out of the gun, White. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on second down, and they need two here on third. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing to run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. Motion in one of the tight ends. Here's White again. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right? They love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger, but that back remains hungry. First down, and they go right back to him. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Baker now from the gun. This one's taken in by Otten. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Well, that right there, Kate, that is the epitome of trust. And trust in your big physical tight end. 
throwing his way into double coverage. You may question the decision when the ball leaves his hands, but it's tough to question when it produces results like that. On the ground, it's right. He only finds a window for two, but that's still enough for a first down. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. Going to the ground again on first. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Baker now off to play fake. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. Good enough for a Tampa first down. Small pass, big result. This dude is just a juggernaut with the football, and once he gets rolling, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher to stop him from playing add on with those yards. Mayfield on first and ten. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They send the tight end in motion. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. It's into the hands of Wright. And he's out of bounds, just short of the 30. They'll see he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. Some certainly do it better than others, Kate, but every running back in the league today has got to do just that. You cannot be a one-dimensional back in the league anymore. You can't. you got to be able to handle your business, both toting the ball as a runner, and really importantly, as a check-down outlet on short throws. Root to run inside the 20, and they finally get to him at the 15. The big play nets him 17 yards. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. From the red zone now. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And they're going to get this down to the four before being stopped. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. Throwing now from the gun. On the move, headed right. And they will score. It's a Tampa touchdown. The Buccaneers push their lead further to start the half. Baker Mayfield, the touchdown. His fourth total score of the game. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Has this at the six. 
coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So here comes the Bronco offense. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Pressure coming for Knicks. He throws a bullet deep to the right side. And he makes the wait. No, he didn't hang on. It falls incomplete. Man, with how hard it is, Kate, to get these plays down the field, can't let the coverage off the hook with a drop. Just can't happen. But you're going to see it right here. He saw the open space ahead of him and started running before he ever brought the ball fully in. Knicks again on second and ten. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. First time this game, they've looked to him. So now it's going to be third and long. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. On third down, here's Nix. He's on the move. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. Good yardage with a new set of downs. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays. Right before the snap, you know if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. First down, ball at the 36. Kate, sometimes football and poker have a lot in common. You don't want to tell at the poker table, and you don't want one at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes just it's alignment. It's the way these linemen breathe. It's the blood in their knuckles the defenders read and react to. I think that time a tell was in play because the defense was all over that counter before it could get started. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. It's a design boot. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. That's one he knows he should have had. So it's going to be fourth and short. Hey, listen. Drops happen in football. It is a part of the game, even for the very best. Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way. Fourth down and on comes the punt team and the kicks away. And this one did hit at the eight but took a big bounce and finished its journey in the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Bucks on offense now. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm -hmm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. I'll tell you this, Kate. They doubled him knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. That's doing your homework. A bit surprising QB still threw it in that direction, but how well the defense had that one covered. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Tight end in motion left. Going again is Baker. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Third and six for them to figure out now. A 
Mayfield now from the gun. I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. He got to secure the pick before anything else. The Buccaneers out and into punt formation. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. And he's calling for a fair catch, which is made at the 33-yard line. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And the Broncos get set to take over. First and ten from the 34. Now Knicks. As a man, that's Cortland Sutton. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. Give to Williams from the gun. And he takes it past midfield and starts the drive into Buccaneers territory. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. It's Broncos football as we enter the fourth of what's been a largely one-sided game. Second and six coming up here. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And that'll be good for a Denver first. One of the biggest keys when you get a tight end running the corner route is he's got to set his angle, Kate. Wide receivers are so nifty, so smooth. Speed's really the priority. For tight ends, it's really setting that angle, so creating that leverage so that QB knows exactly where he's going. That's a job well done right there. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. Fighting for the goal line. Oh, he lost it. Someone punched it out. Just one yard on the run. Still in good shape, though, with second and goal from the two. Let's give him a second there. Give him a sec. I'm going to imagine his heart's probably going, what, 150, 160 beats per minute right now, Brock, after nearly losing that fumble. Yep, and one just a ball he dropped there. It was at least three points, too. But fortunately, that ball stays with him in the red zone. And now I'm really curious. It's one of those moments, Kate, where he put the ball back in his hands, trust him again to hold on to it, and maybe go get that touchdown you know he so badly wants. So now, here's third and goal. Shotgun snap to Knicks. And he'll score. Touchdown, Denver! The Broncos putting up points in a game decided. He hung in there as long as he could. A lot of quarterbacks would have bailed out. And it was, it was what you talk about, Brock, that courage that kept the chant for the touchdown alive. Yeah, that touchdown's going to show up on his stat sheet making the catch or the quarterback stat sheet for making the throw. But, hey, can we put some touchdowns up there for the big boys up front? It was their blocking and buying of time for that play that led to the score. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard.
Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Fielded at the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Buccaneers are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Drive starts with a carry by White. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. This defense may have been headed the wrong way initially on that counter run, but they never lost contain. As that play shifted back, they flowed with it and caught him before he could break it up the sideline. A tight end in motion now. Here we go, second and nine. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. It arrived as the ball did to break things up. And things look tougher now with third and long. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. It's White on the give. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Pretty obvious, this defense. I mean, they need more people around the line of scrimmage. But the minute you do that, Kate, start opening up those throwing lanes. This is how balance takes apart a defense. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Again, this is White. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Even though that run did not net them a first down, I can promise you this, Kate. I promise you. I know how it works. They're going to circle that one. They're going to remember that one. And when they need some key yards on the ground, they'll come back to that call later. Play fake. It's Mayfield. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. A seven-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. That's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. First and ten, it's a give to White. Into the second level, past the 30. And he'll finally be taken down at the 25. Big game here as he picks up 20. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, Kate. They don't always get the attention they deserve on a broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. And he's got it down into the red zone at the 16. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. One of the tight ends motioning right. Got his target. It's Abu. And he's able to get this down to the 13. And that comes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. Here's Baker to throw. Too much lead on that throw. That falls incomplete ahead of his target. Intended target there was Mike Evans. And now they face second down. From the gun, Mayfield. This one's caught. Cool. 
let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. Palmer coming in motion left. Third down. Here's Mayfield. Complete beyond the marker. And they're going to take this to the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers continue adding to an insurmountable lead. Well, as they drive forward to what right now looks like it should be a win, Brock. He sure has taken advantage of a nice little chance to boost his stat line. His second touchdown of the game. Yeah, you just kind of feel these two building some trust, right? Just more and more equity, certainly paying dividends in this one, but more than likely for more games to come. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. Returns looking good so far. And they'll start this drive in good position, a little shy of the 40. This offense ready to get going again now. And all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. Good starting field position for the Broncos as they get ready for first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Nix. Down the middle, complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a gain of 27 yards to move the chains. Here's first and ten from the 34. Nicks from the gun. He's got it at the five. And this one's stopped at the three-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. One thing we don't have in football is we don't have that radar gun. But if we did, Kate, this is the kind of throw when you throw it that deep outside the numbers that requires a serious fastball, serious arm strength, and he just showed it off. They'll look to run with Williams. And he runs this one in for the touchdown. The Broncos making the scoreboard look a touch better. Javante Williams, the touchdown. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. Extra point try now from Lutz. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Set to kick this away. Return coming from the six. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The home teams and Rashad White ready to take over once again. They're out and set, first and ten. The give now to White. 
And he's brought down up across the 30-yard line. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. up three yards on the run that sets up third and four shotgun snap for Mayfield it was there but he couldn't hang on that's incomplete you know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? If it shows the wrong play off that call sheet that time. Tampa Bay in punt formation now. It'll be Jake Camarda doing the honors. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And the fair catch secure here at the 16. So no return on that punt. And the Broncos are going to take over with a lot of field ahead of them. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Here's Nix to throw. And alert played defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. And that makes it second down. I'll tell you what that deflection right there, Kate, tells me. That defense was following and reading the quarterback's eyes. Knew exactly where that throw was going. And it takes a little bit of intuition, a little bit of feel. He's able to get his hands on it and knock it out of bounds. Again on second and ten, Nix. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. I hate those situations, Kate, as a QB. I'm looking for an open passing lane, and I can't find one anywhere. He thought he had one available. Defense did a better job of knocking it away. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. To throw. Here's Nix. He fires one deep down the middle. It's tipped away. He's going to hit the ground. Defensive play breaks that one up. So that brings up fourth and long. I think it's safe to say that without that ball being tipped, we are looking at a big game. It's a missed opportunity to push that offense and an even better play defensively to deny the throw. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. The home teams returning their offense and this running back to the field. They didn't add to their lead last time out, so they punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. Try the right side with White. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. We've hit the two in the morning here in Tampa. Buccaneers rolling here in a laugher. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. From the gun, a run for White. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of about three, so a third of what they needed. Third and six coming up. Baker now from the gun. And this one is dropped and incomplete. He had the pick in his hands. Couldn't hang on. It's going to be fourth down. 
Gosh, you could just almost feel his eyes up here, Kate, getting huge, right? He was envisioning the return, and he simply dropped it. Got to secure that pick before you think of anything else. So out now comes the punter. And he's got this fair catch right along the 12-yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And they'll get ready to go on offense. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Nick's looking to throw. Throw complete to Williams. And they're able to drag him down as he reaches the 15-yard line. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it, expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. Here's Nix. To the sideline, and it is caught. And he goes out of bounds just short of the 35. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And the Broncos will have a first down. Nix fires down the middle, and it is caught. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That one goes for 25 yards, and that'll be good for a Denver first. They'll throw again, Nix. And that's incomplete with seven seconds left. Time for one, maybe two more snaps. Try getting it to Cortland Sutton. And it's going to be second down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anyone on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Mix again on second and ten. Taking a final shot at the end zone. Pass falls incomplete. Well, they kept trying. They kept taking shots at the very end. But now we have reached that end. This one's over. Sound the cannons, baby. The Buccaneers win it here in Tampa. And we didn't need to reach the closing stages of the game for this one to be over. They had things decided and fans heading for those exits well before the Clark reached zeros here in the fourth.